All right, so this girl's name is I, and she's dealing with a toxic male right now. And sometimes girls are like, You can't hit me. But nah, this guy does not care. He has been ruining her life. But one day she spots this, him cheating on his test. So there's only one option, blackmail. And at first she's like, Don't worry, I won't tell on you. However, you're going to do as I say. And right now, Senpai is like, Hmm, this girl is so familiar. And we already know who he's talking about. This toxic little loli over here. You know what I just noticed about Naga? Her eyebrows are non-existent. She might as well be bald. All right, so no one's answering the door and your friend's sick. Do you A, call them on your phone, or B, walk into their house? Nah, oh, man, Paisan, you've been caught red in. I thought she might have just passed out. Yeah, okay, Paisan. Bro, you creep in like little creep. Yeah, so this is Nagatoro's sister. Look at her. Already acting like Nagatoro. So this is hell. Nagatoro already knows the way her sister acts. So they head to Nagatoro's room. And right now, it's pretty quiet. But you already know it's not about to stay quiet for long. Look at Nagatoro. Oh, look at her. She can't chill for not a minute. Zero chills. Oh, you about to eat it. Nah. Nagatoro's been cut red handed. She said some. Y'all must be thirsty. Especially when it's just the two of you. Nagatoro looks fried. I can literally hear the tears in her voice. All right, so the scene is fast forward. What happened? What did we miss? I don't know. It was kind of suspicious the way they cut, though. Look at this, guy. She says, I'm going to start toying with you again starting tomorrow. Have mercy, he says. Really? Really? Tell me he doesn't enjoy it. <laughs> That is the face of joy. He's literally conditioned him to enjoy bullying. All right, Nagatoro's back to class. Yo, Nagatoro came in here like a psychopath. And no mercy will be received. Please leave this man alone. You freaking trained him like a little puppy. All right, so right now he's drawing her. And she cannot keep her pose any longer. And so, oh no, she's gonna fall. Ah, she's falling. Let me catch her. Wow, smooth one, Python, smooth one. But all right. Putting Nagatoro aside, I now want to share with you guys my Spice Family art project, which has been sponsored by Milanote, a tool for organizing your creative projects. So something I've done in Milanote is create a board just for color. And since it's only I'm dealing with, I went for a more chaos type of color palette with a lot of nice reddish orange colors with the blues that wouldn't take away from the reds. And also another thing I love about Milanote is how I'm able to easily collect notes, images, videos, and more for inspiration all in one place. I was able to drag in these references, which helped me create some ideas for the project. So the first idea I got from these references was to have Anya smirking with an 8k in hand, sitting on top of a pile of her enemies with explosions in the background. The idea I went with though stemmed from this piece where this girl is running from ghosts. And I thought, hey, what if I actually had Anya being chased by the big three instead of ghosts? Now, along with the features I've told you about, they also have a hundred built-in templates available for every type of creative project. And when you're ready to share your work, you can invite your colleagues and clients to gather feedback and collaborate with them in real time. And you know, guys, normally I don't plan this deep for the stuff I draw, but it's definitely something I'm going to start doing a lot more often because this project alone has generated like five ideas I still want to draw. I recommend you checking out Milano. It's available for free with no time limit. Click the link in the description to start your next creative project. With that said, thanks to Milano for the sponsor. All right, let's see what Nagatoro got on the list right here. Top things girls do to get a guy's heart racing. Number one, switching hair. Mmm. I don't know, bro. In kindergarten, there was this girl with long hair. And we were having like a waterworks thing going on, right? And I'm over here just minding my own business, waiting in line to get onto the slide. And that's when out of the cut, this girl turns her head and I get slapped by a wet weed. That joint felt like horse hair. She didn't even notice either. But I will never forget that day. But back on topic, who does that? Who just randomly switches their hair? If someone just walked up to me and did that, <laughs> that would be so cringe. All right, but number two, looking up at you. Yeah, I'd say that's correct. I'd say that's correct. Right. Number three, tugging on your sleeve. Now for this one, not gonna lie, I hate, hate, hate when people pull on my clothing. But the looking up one, yeah, that, that, that's pretty valid. Yo, what is this, Dragon Ball Z? I know damn well Python can't move that fast. Especially to the point where he doesn't have to try. All right, so right now Python gets a great idea. Why don't I pull her sleeve? Or even better. Let's take this joint even further. And that's when they get caught by Yoshi's gang. Mad embarrassing. All right, so apparently Nagatoro has gotten Senpai sick. And so right now Nagatoro was looking for senpai but not today bro is chilling <laughs> i spoke too soon he catches zero breaks no breaks will be caught yeah so nuggets ends up getting hung up on oh he's on just trying to get some rest he's not in the mood right now and that's when he wakes up to not one not two but seven doorbell rings <laughs> hey yo not gonna lie that loki scared me dang bro in japan they got no locks on the door well i know where i'm going if i'm trying to hit a lick real quick all right so right now python's like you came to check up on me and Nagatoro's like, nah, you lanky bean sprout. I bet you a butt stank. 
Lanky. You got zero stamina. And I bet your dick, Lanky. Like the stem of a flower. All right, eventually Nagatora makes it in. And as soon as she comes into his room, she just starts messing with him. She just came here to make his sickness even worse. All right, so right now she lies him down in bed. And that's when she asks, Hi, son, what's your temperature? No thermometer can be found. So she's like, never mind, senpai. I got a better solution. And then just uses her head as a thermometer. That is not necessary at all. <laughs> then we got this guy's breathing. <laughs> How would you use your hand next time? Come on now. Yo, what type of sickness does this guy have? I've never had a sickness where it just made me start hallucinating. That's that's never happened. I know that can happen, but when does that even happen? Hallucinations can sometimes occur in frail older people who are ill. <laughs> okay. All right. So she's been taking care of him, giving him grass fed water, you know, a little dose of toxicity. He's like, oh, give me some rest. And now we get to see him dreaming. All right. So in his dream, he's Nagatoro's husband. Looks like she made you some nasty slop. The freak is that? Is that rice? I can't even tell what that is. He's really down bad right now. Well, now she's trying to freaking wake him up. <laughs> Let the bear sleep. Oh, man. <laughs> hey, yo, dog, throw back up. Second night, I not kiss him, you won't. Oh, that was a fake out. Oh, she about to do it. Oh, oh. <laughs> I thought she came into the door. Sadly, though, it's just her coming home. All right, so now it's the next day. And, <laughs> and Nagatoro decides to bully him for payback. Oh, my God. Payback for taking care of him. Should it even be a surprise at this point? I'll give you a lesson on how to talk to people. How to greet your friend, number one. That's a freaking elementary school interaction. <laughs> I better not get greeted like that. And now there's this greeting. Okay. Don't scare. All right, let's see how long she can last before she says anything toxic. Oh my god, let me finish my sentence. All right, so right now, Python's getting thoughts. What if I just smacked her on the head right now? Or no, what if I actually hugged her? And he's like, nah. But we already know this is Python. The luckiest man on earth. And this leaves Nagato speechless. Python, you better stop messing around. She knows karate. See, look at her. She knows karate, man. All right, so here, Python receives some tickets. Meanwhile, we cut to Nagatoro singing creepy, creepy, creepy. Y'all know what that means, right? She be thinking about him all day. Look at her. Look at her. She already snuck a peek at the ticket and searched up the zoo. Yo, I just realized he got little stubs like Patrick. Tell me those aren't Patrick stubs. Hey, yo, he's finally bought the tickets out. And he asks her to go to the zoo. Yo, she is smacking him like crazy right now. He's like a whole terraria boss. Come on, senpai. You gotta stop going like that. Kick her back. Kick her back next time. Look at her looking all cute. No. Kick her back. All right, so right now they're drawing together. And that's when Nagatoro's like, Hi, son. Look, li li listen to that. And Python's over here all serious for once. He's like, just feel it Just draw out. what you see. And yeah, this is when Nagatoro gets her special idea. He promised to teach me hand in hand, step by step. This little devil. She knows what she's doing. She knows what she's doing. Is this Python's imagination or is it hers? <laughs> Yo, what'd you call him? What the freak? What is a louse? Oh my God, that is... <laughs> that is too far. It ain't that deep. It ain't that deep. Like, nah, it's hella deep. All right, so their hands have finally touched. Yeah, Nagatoro teases them here. <laughs> Ew, why is their arms so floppy right now? All right, so they draw a bird. They draw a hippo. They draw a tiger. All right, so Nagatoro's going to the bathroom. And here, Python picks up her picture and is like, hmm, this is beautiful. And that's when the no eyes show up. And that's when they notice Python. And they take his sketchbook and start looking at it. And you're like, okay, okay, it's fine. I'll let this one pass. No reason for smoke. But that's when he calls Nagatoro's drawing trash. And Python is not gonna go like that. Python never goes like that. And as this guy is pressuring, that's when Nagatoro shows up. Fresh from the bathroom. And she sold him this in Python. And Nagatoro's like this. We can do this the easy way or we can do this the hard way. Yeah, look at the way that they drew her. <laughs> look how small she is compared to them. Small people sometimes have a dangerous vibe to them. Like a little chihuahua about to bite you off. Today, Nagatoro's gonna do some girl talk. She's heading out of here. And Python was about to get back to business when he realized she left her phone. All right, so he goes to look for her. But he has no luck. That's when he just randomly sees Yoshi throwing punches. His enemies. <laughs> look at him looking dangerous. So he tries to run away from them, but that's when he runs into even more of her friends. <laughs> So now he's forced to run away. Dangerous situation right now. Ultra dangerous. Hot, it's hot dangerous. Fire, fire. One wrong move and Python ends his life. This anime is so wacky. I'm pretty accommodating. So I'm okay with any type. Sucker be balling out every season. All right, so right now the girls are asking Nagatoro. Who does she like? And she basically says Python. And that's when Python accidentally bumps the locker. I don't know how anyone would ever let that happen. So now Nagatoro is going to go creep up on the locker. And that's when she spots him. Look at him trying to look away as if he's not there. Nagatoro's like, hey, yo, I told you to come at seven. 
Yeah, so magically, Python is able to escape. All right, so look at our man, Python. He's training for the marathon so he can impress Nagatoro tomorrow. But oh, there goes his ACL. But it looks like today he's fine. He's going at a nice slow pace. And that's when Nagatoro comes sliding in. Look at her. Yo, why they all got little stubs right now? That just looks so weird. Doing this does not make him go faster. Oh, man. There goes his ACL again. But now Nagatoro is going to help him walk. He's like, get on. <laughs> Dang, Nagatoro is strong. What the heck? Yeah, but she's kind of stressed. And I would be too. And in order to get Nagatoro to let him down, he says, I don't want to risk you getting hurt. Which catches Nagatoro. And that's when Gamo pulls up and freaking says the N word. <laughs> Japanese characters <laughs> love saying the N word. <laughs> oh, it's Christmas. And after a bunch of running around, they're able to give their presents to each other. And what do you know? They both gave each other scarves. They both on the same wavelength. All right, so it's early in the morning. What's the first thing Nagatoro says to him? You're such a failure. <laughs> I need even teasing at this point. And why is he blushing? Anyways, I want to go back to this scene. Right before Paison gives the present to Nagatoro. They were in the infirmary. And that's when they spot Sakura with her new boyfriend. Shut up.